Guys, we're back with another Bee Month review. It's been a bit of a hiatus for us here, um, you know, mostly because not many new statues had come out. Uh, but we were working on our website, uh, beemother.com, so go check that out. Let us know what you think of that. But we're back with probably the most talked about statue of the last two years. Now, it's, uh, it really needs no introduction. It's Thanos on Throne, uh, the maquette from Sideshow Collectibles. I'll give you a 360 view of him here so you can take it all in. Now, this piece was first teased back in sort of mid-2016, and basically he's been... His thread has been at the top of statue form, let's say, for you know, the last two years straight, uh, which is almost unprecedented. It's been talked about on Facebook almost daily since then. Uh, but now we have him in hand, and we're going to take a look at, at Thanos, uh, whose popularity has really never been higher than it is right now due to Infinity War, which came out earlier this year and was awesome. Um, I mean, even my sisters know who Thanos is right now, and if you know my sisters, that's, that's saying a lot. So, um, very popular character, and I remember um, sort of my first real exposure to Thanos. I, I was kind of knew who he was from, you know, Marvel cards when I, that I used to collect as a kid, but I remember walking to the comic book store uh, when I was younger and seeing this comic book here. Silver Surfer, number 55. This is part of the Infinity Gauntlet storyline. And I knew Silver Surfer pretty well. I knew he was a total badass because you, know, you look on the back of his Marvel cards and his strength and stuff is always maxed out to the limit, right? He's always a 7, right? And that's the highest you can go is a 7. Or I think it was a 7. Um, so I, I saw this comic book and I thought, holy crap, he's holding Silver Surfer up by the neck? This guy must be a total boss. So I, I had to pick this comic up. And this is actually my original copy. It's still not in bad condition. So... Um, but what really did it for me was here, is when I opened it up and to this splash page here, um, you can see Galactus floating, you know, defeated in the sky behind uh, Thanos' castle there. And that's what really sold me on how big of a badass Thanos really is. Uh, he's one of the biggest bads of the Marvel Universe. Uh, and as I said, one of the most hyped statues uh, that I can remember, probably of all time. Uh, so let's get into the review and see if this statue can live up to the might of Thanos, the Mad Titan. I'm going to run through the sculpt on this statue. And, you know, it's been out for a while, so you've seen tons of pictures of it. You know this, this sculpt is awesome. Uh, it's sculpted by William Harbottle, who, in my opinion, is probably you know, the top one or two percent of sculptors in this whole collectible industry. He does just such amazing work. Uh, so when you hear his name attached to a project, uh, I really get excited about it. So, and I think he really, really delivered on this piece. I mean, let's look at this throne. I mean, look at the, look at this thing. It, it, it's, it's truly incredible when you look at it. Uh, you know, parts of it look like it's chiseled out of a, a meteor or something like that. And then, you know, the other parts of it look like some kind of um, spaceship or something, some kind of futuristic spaceship. Um, it's just a, it's a marvelous blend of high-tech space technology with this ancient look. Um, it, it just suits Thanos so perfectly. You've got the death theme kind of strewn throughout it. you got the big skull on the back. You know, this part here kind of looks like a spine or a spinal cord vertebrae. Same thing down the back of the armrests. You've got the two skulls on the front under the hands. I mean, look at how he's crushing that one skull. You know, like he's, he's really gonna, um, you know, tear someone apart here. Uh, you got the other skull here. It just looks amazing. Um, you know, the conduits, you got these little, looks like jet engines almost at the back and at the back of the armrests. The, you know, the, the wear on the, the stone parts, you got the cracks all over it again, just to give it that aged look. It looks fantastic. Okay, so now let's move on to Thanos, and he's he's equally impressive, I, I think. Just the the size of him really is going to grab your attention. I mean, look at him next to me. Um, I know I'm not the biggest guy in the world, but but this thing is massive. It's going to look 
it, it's going to take up a, a pretty big, good amount of space on your shelves, and it, it, but it's going to be worth it. It looks awesome. Uh, you know, nice texturing on his suit. Um, you know, look at the boots and the armor areas, all the plating and panel lines there uh, that they've added just look phenomenal. I love the um, kind of this writing. It's kind of a mixture of, it looks like a, a Japanese kanji and an Egyptian hieroglyph almost. Uh, this given this sort of space age ancient writing on, on his armor there. Um, really nice added detail and it's also around you know the buckle on his belt there. Um, great great design on Thanos and then you got of course the portraits. Uh, this is the exclusive portrait. I will show you the regular portrait uh, shortly probably next segment. Um, you know, But this looks really good. He's got that sort of menacing evil grin on his face. Uh, you'll notice the back here um, of his uh, helmet here is just sort of plain and I'll show you the difference on the regular again later on. This one's more of a comic book look I think the exclusive head so uh, sculpt fantastic there's not much more to say about it you've seen all the photos of course uh, around the last few months so I mean it's truly one of Sideshow's best all-time sculpts in my opinion they did a phenomenal job. going to run through now paint on this statue and I think you know overall the paint on this piece is is good um, th I think there's some areas for, for improvement um, but, and we'll get to those soon uh, but overall um, this piece is actually a replacement piece that's why we're reviewing it now kind of a few months late after it came out uh, it's actually my it's not mine it's a friend of mine so thanks to Marco for lending the statue for the review uh, and, but he had to wait several months to get his replacement and we'll talk about why uh, next segment but um, the differences are actually um, on the throne you can tell it's got more of a purpley hue than, than the original one that he had um, and I actually like that a little bit better because it helps the throne and separate it or helps Thanos separate himself from the throne um, so I kind of like this paint scheme a little bit better even though it's it's kind of a subtle change um, the armor I really like uh, you kind of got the two tones of gold you got sort of this t lighter titanium gold uh, on some parts you got the darker gold there and even kind of a, a brownish color with a, a little bit of gold in it um, in these areas with the writing I like the color choice there uh, the blues on his suit it's a two-tone blue uh, he's got these, these piping lines uh, black piping lines uh, on his suit that you can see there and then in between it switches between tones of blue you got a darker and a lighter I kind of wish that the blues there were a little bit more saturated a little more vibrant um, but that's it's kind of personal preference uh, a lot of people will like how it looks but for me I would like him to be a little bit brighter looking um, portraits uh, look really good you got that sort of purpley look uh, to his face um, for the most part, uh, the, the, the cleanliness of the paint, the, you know, the, the lines between the paint look pretty good. Um, on this, the exclusive face, there's a little bit of, of slip-ups. There's a little bit of gold on his, uh, just above his mouth on this particular one. There's some blue. If you look at the bottom of his teeth, there's some blue on the teeth um, that you kind of wish wasn't there. But overall, it looks pretty good. The throne has kind of this... Um, almost pearlescent sheen to the stone areas kind of a bluey purple as I mentioned before it looks really good too uh, the cracks are kind of painted with this lighter blue a brighter blue to it looks like almost there's an energy glowing from inside this throne it, it's a really neat look uh, so the paint uh, looks pretty good one thing I'm going to mention is both the eyes on both portraits um, you can tell that they're kind of a printout like a sticker uh, on both eyes. Um, the exclusive has kind of a, a starburst pattern there. The regular, it looks almost like a red a galaxy in his eyes, a galaxy of stars in his eyes. And it, they look good, but when you look closely, you can kind of see uh, the low resolution of those stickers. And it, it kind of cheapens it a little bit. Now, you're not gonna see that from a regular viewing distance, so it's not a big deal. But on a statue like this, um, you know, I think it was $1,200 US dollars retail 
um, you, you want top end all the way through and and I think that could have been done a little bit better but overall paint looks really good to me so production quality and build quality we'll go through the build of this piece first um, I've kind of partially disassembled it for you I didn't want to take the whole thing apart because it's kind of a pain in the butt and he's actually really a very heavy statue uh, so I didn't want to be manhandling him here on screen but um, basically you got the throne comes in three parts you know, each armrest is a separate piece as you can see I've got one in my hand here uh, Thanos's body what you see here is all one piece uh, you got the gauntlet and then you got the heads of course are swap out so um, we will just sort of drop in the the armrest and I wanted to take this one off just to show you how the right hand is actually attached to the armrest itself there's a magnet here a magnet on his wrist and a magnet here that slots into a key on the side and I, I just took it off for the first time right before filming this and it, it's kind of hard to get off but uh, you know that's okay because you know you want it to a nice secure connection so we'll drop this into place here and see how well it goes back on okay so we'll make sure we get that all the way in so that's lost in so it goes on easy but getting it off was was a little tricky um, there is a little bit of a seam here uh, between the wrist and the hand it's really really minor I wouldn't even consider it an issue at all but if you're really picky or if you're really looking at it close you will see a bit of a seam the gauntlet uh, you saw earlier it's a light up gauntlet it looks pretty good with the lights off actually but the button to turn it on is right here uh, it's a little black button so you just click that on and you got the light ups infinity stones there uh, the battery compartment I believe is right here and you can just um, slide that lid off and change the batteries if you need to and it's a magnet connection as well and you just pop that on like so pretty nice and easy and then of course you got the, the heads which are also magnet I mentioned earlier the difference between the back of the helmet here uh, on the regular head he's got this sort of gold armor plating at the back um, this portrait overall is really kind of more um, sideshows version of Thanos I think it's a little bit different I like it a lot actually I might even prefer it to the exclusive but I know a lot of people favor the more comic book inspired exclusive head um, so these go on as nice secure fit with a magnet so overall uh, not too hard to, to uh, assemble um, it was a little tricky getting Thanos he's got a you know of course a hole right in his butt there that you got to slit down onto a peg on the chair and it's you know a little tricky to line that up but not too too bad um, now production quality is where this piece had a little bit of trouble I think a lot of people required replacements you've probably seen you know people post their their damaged picks um, and there's more than uh, normal I think um, or I don't know if it was because there was an excessive number of them getting damaged or just all the hype surrounding this piece people were more inclined to, to post these picks because they were just more disappointed than normal when it arrived damaged but a lot of people had the right leg broken off you know kind of right through his thigh I don't know some of the pictures that you saw you, um, it's like the cat the resin material was not evenly spread around his leg like the bottom side of his leg on some people's would look almost paper thin in areas um, you know there's plenty of resin there it's a very heavy statue but um, it seemed like it wasn't getting distributed around as they were casting it so I don't know if it was a mold issue or a molding issue I don't know if it was you know a packaging issue um, you know I don't know but for whatever reason this piece was having problems with damage during shipment um, so that's kind of a knock on the piece it took a little bit of the shine off of it um, but if you get a good one and this one this replacement piece is is pretty good um, it's, it's really a fantastic statue all right so we're going to wrap up the review here uh, Thanos on throw maquette you know as I mentioned probably the most hyped statue that I can even recall um, 
in my opinion, I mean, this, this is Sideshow's new flagship piece. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be like, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Doom on Throne, man. Doom on Throne, the king. Doom. And I used to own Doom. It was a nice statue. Uh, really well done. Great quality piece. But Thanos on Throne looks better than Doom. There, I said it. Just deal with it. Thanos on Throne looks better than Doom. There you go. Um, it, it's a phenomenal piece all around. It's, assuming you get one that's not damaged, that's probably the one big knock on this one is the the damage during shipment for whatever reason that was. Um, but Thanos, he's, he's a total badass. I mean, he's, he's destroyed the Marvel Universe in the comics and in the movies, of course, with the snap of his fingers. And you look at this gauntlet, I was going to mention it earlier. Um, you know, it, he's kind of beckoning with his finger, but he could also be doing this, right? Snapping his fingers like that. Uh, so you kind of wonder if Thanos, or if Sideshow knew a little bit about the movie before they started making this um, the statue. It, and it, it just turned out great. I mean, again, you get a good one and you're going to love it. You're going to want to hang on to this piece. Display it in a, in a prominent spot so everyone can come take a look at it because it's huge, it's impressive, and, and everyone that comes over to see your stuff is going to look at this and, and just be wowed. So this is Sideshow's new flagship statue, in my opinion. It's one of their all-time best. Uh, Thanos on Throne. Um, hope you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, we're going to have more, I promise. We got uh, Prime 1 Storm Shadow coming up right away. It's in a box just over there. I'm going to unbox that, get a review up of him shortly. And of course more coming throughout the year. So stay tuned and we'll talk to you guys soon.